Over two years ago, we started our basement renovation. As you can see, it desperately needed it, as I had outgrown this space, which I absolutely loved. But before I had this space, I outgrew this space, which I think, honestly, was my favorite space of all. It was so warm and cozy. But stick around while I take you on a journey through my 22 by 14 foot studio. But wait, what would you say if I told you I've already outgrown this studio? Hang in there with me and I'll explain. I have spent countless hours creating this video for you. It has been a long time coming, so enjoy. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is cardstock and paper, because of course, that's what all my projects are built on. I have, this here paper is close at hand to my workstation. You'll get a pan around the room shortly, but in the meantime, this one's pretty close. I have them in these awesome little plastic divider thingies. I'll link everything I possibly can down below, but they're all labeled by company as well. Um, of course, I'm not with Stampin' Up! anymore, but I still have an abundance of their paper and I plan to use it. Now, I keep all of my printers, sublimation, all of that kind of electronic stuff down here. So, of course, I keep all of the paper that goes with those kinds of things down here. So, these are easy to grab and use at my printers and whatnot, right? So, close at hand here I, I i was gonna show you one angle but i'm gonna show you another angle because i've got to have my paper cutter and a little bowl of course for all of my scraps now when i cut my colored cardstock i'm able to kind of put the extras and whatnot in this little drawer which i absolutely love and i've got some specialty little cardstocks in there too here i like to keep specialty odds and sods ends and whatnot and of course white and vanilla cardstock ends and it would not be complete without a drawer for all of my playing and duds and samples and things I make in classes and don't even get me started on scrapbook paper. I used to be a scrapbooker. I don't know. I, I had this built into this custom workstation. This thing is like 10 feet long by five feet wide. So I figured we'll put the paper in there. I don't even know if I'll ever use it, but this paper I do use. So I keep all my six by six right behind me close at hand. And most of the sparkles and glitter papers are at the top because I don't use them quite as often, but supplies within reach is really really important if you can display things neatly and organized keep stuff close to you having things visible is easy easy to reach for kind of helps your creative process because you're not spending a lot of time looking for things now I'll go into a lot of detail about the things that I keep close at hand. You see my face in all of my videos and you don't see where I'm reaching and now you'll understand what I'm reaching for. Directly to my right, I had an Alex unit built into my custom workstation and I've got my trimmer and my keyboard. Here I've got all of my card fronts and card bases and of course my go-to inks. The ones that I grab the most, I don't even have to get up and grab them my stickles I mean my my studio would not be complete without the stickles and the pearl X and all the little odds and sods in there keep an eye on my channel because I might have something coming up for you guys for your stickles these here these Alex units you can layer your storage in these so I've got these little bamboo storage trays I will link them for you but they are amazing for creating two different levels on my left, of course, I've got my Barbie tanning bed. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. My pink and main, um, what do you call it, foiling machine. And my little vacuum. That thing oh, is a lifesaver. I love it, I love it, I love it. And of course, my cutting plates. And you'll see my cutting machine soon. On the left side, the, I have an Alex unit as well. And this is kind of like my little scrap papers. I can use them for sentiments and things like that. And of course, my Misty, my stamp positioners, my stamping wheel, and my glitter. I mean, I could not live without my glitter. So directly on top of my workstation now, I've got my go-to pencil crayons, which are my Prismas and my Polychromos and my Caddy. And if you saw my last studio tour, I introduced this then. It's for um, silverware, I guess, but this is so awesome for your studio. I have it packed with all kinds of stuff. These little guys have followed me 
all of my studios from the very beginning. I definitely could not live without these. They're perfect little drawers. I got them at Walmart in the bath section, but I, I was able to find them and I can link them for you on Amazon. I've gone through a bunch of different little containers here, but I've got to have my pencils and my markers and my pin, of course and my embossing supplies. The little dish there is kind of like my little trash dish. It's a catch-all. And behind me, my Lazy Susie with all of my go-to little things that I need, cleaners and whatnot. And you saw me there show you my splatter box. That's from Michaels. I love it. My Copics and all my markers. Now that was a custom built storage, so I can't link that. This I also got at HomeSense. It's perfect for all of your little odds and sods when you are die cutting and you have little sentiments and things left over. And of course, just showcase my things because I have, this is my business. I have to have a nice backdrop, right? My bar cart from Ikea, I love it. Got my foiling machine on top. I've got my die cutting machine on top. It sits right next to me. I've got a little drawer there with all the little plastic things you get from stamps. They're really good to help uh, protect your foil cardstock when you're die cutting so you don't get a little imprints, but beep, beep, excuse us. And my embellishments are there too. So really easy to have right next to me. My inks and reinkers. everybody keeps asking me what inks I use and honestly, I'm just happy with the oxides because they do so many different things and I don't stamp a lot in solid colors, but I have so much in the distress line, so I figured why not, right? I mean, look at this, all my micas and all my stains and foils. I will link the stand for those foils too because they're awesome. And these little things here for all of the reinkers. And I'll see if I can find this online for you as well for my oxides. Swatching and cataloging. I could not live without cataloging and swatching. I am such an organization freak, but I'm not tidy. And you're gonna notice that when you look in my drawers. I, I like to organize, but I'm not super tidy. My swatch chart. I, I should do a dedicated video on this. If you want to see a dedicated video on anything in my studio, let me know. But swatching and cataloging, I definitely should get it together and do a video for you because I love swatching so much that I actually went and made my own Prismacolor, Polychromos, Arteza. I'm going to make some for the other pencil crayons, the Luminance and the Derwents because I'm starting to get into those. But having swatches and having things organized, even when you're building your collection, to be able to color them in and then take a photo so when you're at the store, you know what you have. These are just little bonuses I include with my swatch charts, but I'll link them down below. But anyhow, swatching and then labeling. So I store my stamps like this. I've got stuff I don't really use too much at the top. In the middle, that's all of my sleeves. I make my own sleeves, so that's all the materials for that. Backgrounds, and then my favorite things, literally my favorite things, <laughs> pink and main. And then I've just got an assortment of stuff in here, different companies. These are all my plates, uh, my foiling plates, all of my spellbinder stuff. And then I've even got a little basket here for stuff that needs to be cataloged. And trust me, that thing gets way too full. Embossing folders, I don't label them. I probably should, but you know, I'm just obsessed with them. So I just keep collecting them and I couldn't imagine having to label every single one. This is how I store my dies. They're all on magnetic sheets in um, cases like that. And then some of the Stampin' Up! stamps that I wanted to keep. Now here, this was essential for me. I needed something that I could store all kinds of things in a small space, but then have extra storage underneath. So those cabinets were, were amazing. I absolutely love those cabinets. Now here, this is a really tall Alex unit, and this is stuff that I don't really use every day or even sometimes very often so they're stored at the other end of the room um, this is kind of all of my crepe paper and my rice paper if you've seen me use those things I use here to make paper 
tools that I don't use all the time, but you know, they need to have a home. So they're all at the other end of the room, all of my Cricut stuff, cause I don't use that on a day to day basis. And then here is another Alex unit. I've got to have balance, right? So ephemera here and then junk journal paper, bags and little containers. And some of those are really old as you can see and more bags. And there's all the paper I was talking about from the other drawer paper making stuff and tea dyed stuff and scraps. I try to keep my scraps organized because if they're not organized and you don't know where they are, it's overwhelming and you're not going to use them. This drawer said scraps and I found all of my, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> my wax stuff. That's it. So I was like, yeah, I found my wax stuff. Now my card storage is custom built into the wall. It kind of impedes on the door handle there, but I don't care. That's what I wanted. And I've labeled all of the sections. I've had to kind of move them around. So I need to redo them, but at least I know where all of my cards are and they're all categorized. So it's easy for me to grab them when I need them. This here unit is a mess. I counted my drawers and honest to God, I have over 70 drawers. I can't go through every single one, but these boxes are boxes that I use more often closer to my workstation. Here is my drawers. These are things that I know I have to use, things I've bought that I know I wanna use before I buy more stuff. There's a container of a project I'm working on right now and these containers are all full of current stuff like here I've got a massive embossing uh, comparison coming up for you guys I'm, I've got I don't know how many embossing destatification tools how many Versamarks how many different whites I'm gonna find the absolute best that there is out there so stay tuned for that but as you can see here these containers they're all full classes and things like that all of my bins are all labeled. Now the bottom rows, the dogs, my puppies ate them off. <laughs> so I just have to remember kind of what's in them, but I pretty much know what's what. My vinyl and Cricut stuff, as you can see, I'm organized, but I'm not tidy. I just have it jammed into some little 12 by 12 spots there. And here, this looks so organized, right? Well, not tidy again. These are all of my, hi, hi girls. These are all of my little staging supplies for taking, taking pictures. And this is all uh, overflow. So, well, that actually is my ultimate glue comparison video that I glued everything together two years ago and then lost the footage. So that video should be a good one. We'll see how good the glue really is, right? But they, like I said, it's just overflow drawer. This one's overflow too. Oh, look, there's some more distressed products I didn't know I had, but it's more overflow of inks and things like that. And, and there's my machines, all of my machines on the right-hand side. That unit actually rolls out from the wall so the mats don't hit the wall. But I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of a pan around here now so that you can see kind of my perspective on where things are and a little bit of my camera setup. I, it doesn't look the best, but you know what? This is how I bring you guys videos, right? I've got to be able to record them somehow. So it just gives you an idea of what I see when I'm looking in my room rather than what you see when you're looking at me and you only see one wall behind me, right? So I definitely don't regret having the built-in card storage. I mean, that's one of my pride and joy. That and my custom Copic uh, storage. So I told you to stick around because I'm out growing this space. So let me explain that. My office used to be in that studio and now my office is in the other room beside my studio. So this is where, this is where I'm sitting right now actually talking to you while I'm filming or editing, excuse me, this video, one of my favorite signs. This here, I'm kind of excited. Uh, we've got a podcast and I say we, Heather and I are going to start a podcast and that's going to kind of be our backdrop there. Bunch of inky fingers, supplies and stickers and kits and different things that I carry nice and organized. That's my only window in this entire basement, but or not the entire basement, but the space that I have access to. And this here, this is a behemoth of a machine that Todd just refuses to get rid of. So it's stuck in my room. I've got some storage there behind it. I saved my boxes and I managed to get a unit in there to store some things that I don't really use a lot of. Here I've got, that's a basket that I want to keep or a container I, I keep all of my uh, hauls that I've got coming in. So, and then everything else is just kind of 
a, an organized mess, if you will. That's where my desk used to be, where you see all of the printers and all of that there. That's where my desk used to be, and this is where it is now. So it's nice to have my workspace separated from my crafting space. So some of my best tips that I can give you is to stay organized. When you can find what you need, you spend less time getting frustrated and the creative process is just easier. Look for multi-purpose furniture, like for instance, these where I mentioned, I've got the shoe boxes for a bunch of little things and then I've got open visual storage and I've got cabinet storage below, which I think is really, really important. I'd like to take this moment to thank you for watching my tour and I'd like to invite you to ask me any questions that you'd like or tell me what you want to see more of and if you like to hear the truth about crafty products and what I really think like and don't like then stick around because I have built a reputation on honesty and integrity you can take what I say to the crafty bank I promise you'll feel like we're old friends in no time again I'm thankful you watched my video consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my fun videos packed with reviews and tips but for now take care and happy stamping